Hello, everybody. Humble George here. Oh, look at what we got today. Oh, my, my, my. Um, that video that I'm going to put a link to in, this, in the video description box of the real car, um, you've got to see for yourself. But come on and take a look at how we were able to do after two long days of amazing uh, work to get this car. Now, the skin is black, but that's it's not going to be easy to see everything that you might want to see, but let's get the lights on at least. Um, this is as close to the to the actual video car I've ever I could have even imagined coming to. <clears throat> the breakthroughs that Squonky uh, had on this one were so outstanding, there was no way you could ever say God did not direct his hands because it was fa fabulous. As a matter of fact, these portholes right here, they exactly fit the holes for the headlight perfect. I mean, right off the, the bat, there was nothing other than to install them uh, once the glass was out of the other one, and it was perfect, absolutely perfect. And these little lights came off of an Austin Healey, but uh, <laughs> they're cool little bastards, man. And uh, I, I searched and searched and searched, Squonky put me on the job to come up with a 440 badge, and I'm telling you, I raked my mind and my resources to the bone until this morning when the little voice said, gee, why don't you take a look at the Coronet, old boy? I took a look at the Coronet, and here's 440 right across the back tail section. Man, I almost threw, flew out of my skin. Um, take a look at these brake lights. Better than normal. They, they'd almost do what the... Uh, the old Thunderbirds did. But how do you like the twin filler caps for uh, ra this car racing in international races where you don't know which side of the road the pit guy is going to be on? So it had to have two fillers. And here's the big tank underneath it with the uh, Ford 9-inch rear end and the Dyna flows coming out the side, which I'll show you right now. Take a look at that. That's where the flames are coming out of. Yes, they are. That might add a couple more just to bring it in a little closer. Um, so here we go. Now take a look at his hood. This was the finishing touch that uh, Squonky had to do today. Was to, he just yeah, he's honed in on them these hoods. So he got this one down in no time flat. That was the last excuse me piece that we had to fabricate to make it right. Uh, it was amazing to see these three light up. Everything in the black chrome, which is what the car called for, was not easy to achieve but as you can see doable it's uh pretty doggone close to and the, the the back bumper and the front bumper had to be reworked re uh, fabricated resized and replaced and everything to match it including the uh, license plate six nut five one five <laughs> and that's the real license plate to the real honest to god car so other than changing the color of the uh, gauges, which I don't know if I'm going to go with blue for this. I think a light orange would be better. Um, why don't we take it out for a little test drive? The wheels were not exactly right, and the paint isn't right yet, so it's not ready to, to uh, really go out and to make a video. But wait a minute. Yes, it did light up. I want to make sure that the license plate lit up. So let's go out and take a take a little test run out of it. And uh, hopefully at some point later today, I'll, I'll have the car out in a real video. So let's see what we got. There's Squonky's Flying Diner. Imagine that. Hope we can get President Trump to go with us sometime. I love that guy. I've never seen anybody. Uh-oh. Okay. Not a problem. No damage lot zero for slot diffuse. Okay. Yep, that's all right. We'll slap a couple in there. See, this is what I'm saying. This is the kind of things that you have to have to uh, deal with. It's, but here's the car. I can fix those things. Easy. All right. Let's uh, get the hat right. There we go. Still sitting funny. I'm not sitting proper, I guess. Let me get the microphones where it doesn't feel like somebody's gonna gag me with this thing. Yeah, it's a, 
it's everything's old. You got to bear with it. All right, let's see what we got. That's that's not too bad. All right. Pushing so hard on the back of the car. Let's get out and take a look. Uh, let's see. Uh, what a machine, huh? Uh, what a beautiful day. I remember when Single Racer and Alex used to do this. They step out of the car. You wonder how in the hell did they do that? Well, now we can do it too. But let's go out in camera five instead, where we can really take a look at it. Oh yeah, you can see it better out here than in the showroom. Yep, they dim. I just want to make sure watch. You can tell they, they're dimming. Oh, beautiful. Look at you sitting nice. good. Even the little tail spoiler, I didn't know how in the hell we were going to fabricate that, but that looks pretty doggone close to the original. You just <laughs> wandering barbecue pit. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out, see how fast we went down the straightaway. I would never have believed we could actually see videos and, um, be able to fabricate as close as we can. Now it's not going to be perfect, but it's as close as I could possibly, you know, do is to get it as close as I can. Now the wheels and tires came off of a Shelby Cobra. I was trying to get the spinners. If I can get the spinners chrome and on a pair of black rims and finish the paint, we've got the car with the exception of the interior not being all ripped to shreds and just be a race car. I didn't want to go that that route with it. I didn't want to gut it. Oh, it sits good. Let's check the camber. Just right where I want them, but you see they're starting to bend. They're bending this way from the uh, being pushed down. So at high speed, I know that's what uh, that's what caused it to steer from the back end. That has to be stiffened up. We'll have to have some more spring in the back. It's a shame though because it rides so good now. You know the old trick, we'll get up to a uh, reasonable speed and I'll 
hit the slow motion and we can see exactly what's going on. See, we took off in sixth gear and lit them at 200 miles an hour. All right, let's get her slowed right down. You can see it burned it again right there, big time. And now look at now look what's happening. One, we got a pretty damn good wheelie going on there, and I didn't think it lasted that long. And look at the suspension. Whoo! We could use more spring. And look at the back wheels. I told you what was happening. They're at what a critical angle. So you're really driving only on the insides of the rubber, but there's going to start to steer the car like a forklift. The front ones stayed nice, but the back ones are really unhappy. They're really, at 410 miles an hour, they are bumming big time. They do not like the G-forces coming down on them. So we've got to do something about the arrow. Look at us flames shooting out at me. Man, that is cooler than shit. 419, 420 is the top speed of the car, but it's not safe to drive like that. Look at the, I've never seen it. Oh, look, 420F, and it leaps again, and we went ape shit. And the front go, is going bananas. Man, it almost looks like, like liquid, liquid coming out the sides. That is really cool. <laughs> that is cool. Let me get rid of the, the cheater, and I'll get a screen. That is pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. I'm so excited. I remember to do how to do it. Wow, that is that is freaking sweet. That is amazing. So, I mean, it, the tires are turn, turning so fast, you don't even see them turning. Now they look like they're going backwards. They're going so fast. Isn't that a pisser and a half? So that's what I got today. I've got some chores to do. Look online to see if I can find out. What was the name of that red horse? Uh, it was a flying griffin or some type of a deal. It was for a Sunoco or Texaco or one of them. But uh, that's what I've got to do today is finish this up. And, um, well, let me know in your comments what you think. As I said, I will put a, a link to the real video so you can actually see the real Honest to God car and the wonderful video they put out. And I'll see you on the next one. Humble out. Hello, everybody. Humble George here. Take a look at this beautiful car. 1964 Ford Thunderbolt. One very, very famous machine no question about it it is a little champion and um take a look at this puppy what a beautiful ride this is but if we would like it to sit like this right off the bat because it has to be adjusted in order to do so with a, a setup wouldn't it be nice if we could just play it well it will be nice look at all the wheels they're absolutely i just fine-tuned them with something that I'm going to also share with you. And, um, well, let's take a look. What a sweetheart of a car this is. I worked on it most all day yesterday. I actually didn't expect it to be a car that I was going to keep and enjoy. But, um, well, come on. Let's take a, take a little jaunt in the rascal, and you'll get to see for yourself. Now, it's set up to 60% turbo. We sure don't want that, so let's cut her back down to 10. And... Uh, we got our interior lights on. We can see all the, the gauges nice. Let's, let me set my hat perfectly well. There we go. I got tight, tight clutch springs. That's why it's acting the way it is. on the Windows 10 machine, um, I've had to 
has, it defaults to 200 degrees, I don't know why, instead of 900, so I have to reach down and there's three buttons on the console for the shifter, and you just press them and you go right back. Now the 200 is great if you're going to do drifting, which I don't do as a general rule, but all right, so I think we've gone far enough. We should, well, let's let's give it a, a full rip at 70 on the straightaway. We'll just see what we can get up to. We'll watch that back and I'll take you for the rest of the video. Let's try second gear. right to the firewall. And look how nice she handles though. These bigger cars handle so much nicer. Now we'll, we'll lay on the binders. Yep, yep. They work real good. These brakes were not too strong when I first got the car. But they Swanky did a nice job on it. They're probably smoking. Yeah, they are smoking. We smoked the brakes, guys. Woohoo! So let's take a quick peek of Rooney at the uh, replay. It may be, well, it would have been lengthy if I don't just snip off the whole beginning of it. Where I was visiting with you. Look at those biplanes scooting by. I wonder if that's why they call them biplanes. Or I may able to leave that alone. In today's world, it could get me a strike on uh, YouTube, probably. It's cause some foul comment I didn't mean to make. Okay, so take a look at this puppy. Look at that paint, though. The fellow who, who, who offered this car, he did some amazing stuff. Amazing. Totally amazing. Way stuff I've never seen before. And, of course, we've taken it and done stuff I probably don't think he's ever seen before. Now the car acts like it's supposed to. Well, maybe a shade or two beyond. Okay. Coming through the trees. Now this won't be a lengthy video. I've got too much else to do today. But I did want to turn you on to this because this is, I'll offer this car at some point and also, uh, well, perhaps, well, the, the link was to a media or a mega deal, and it was a real nightmare trying to get the car and not get a, some other program that I didn't want. We're catching Jody's camera, 377. We beat Jody's camera at 377, almost 78. So that'll tell you how fast the car will go. And here is the car stopping like a champ. And I can't get over that paint though, that paint is freaking out of hand. That, I've never seen such magic done to paint before. That is friggin' amazing. Okay, good enough. Oh, good enough, guys. I got stuff I got to get done. Um, oh, oh, yeah, sure I do. And the whole reason I was showing you this was to show you something else. Forgive me. All right, let's 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 get out here. Lord have mercy. Lord, not Lord. I don't think that, that would have any mercy. Okay, come on here. Come over here. Uh, where are we, Humble? We have no idea. You're jumping around like a jumping bean. All right, well, here's the deal. What I was trying to do is get the tracking perfect so I can get as much tire out to the outside of the car without it rubbing through. So I found out that I could do, um, here's the tracking at a rear wheel. That was what we were concerned with. We have a 1.411, and that's as far as I can get it out. And that was taken into consideration the graphical offsets. Now, if you're not familiar with graphical offsets, which I wasn't until I asked Uncle M years ago, and he explained it to me what it's all about. Um, let me get this one back to where it goes. How, how he escaped, I don't know. Okay. Now, what is graphical offsets? Well, 
When you build a car in a 3D editor, you place things where you can see with your eyes and not numerically they are supposed to go. Well, that's all dandy. But once it gets into Assetto Corsa, there are other things like graphical offsets and these other files that move things around. In other words, I could have the tires exactly where they should be in the editor, but as soon as I bring them in and, and take a, a file from another car, which didn't start as this car, so God only knows where everything is, you have to adjust it by the numbers. Hopefully it's close. Otherwise it's a real nightmare. But once you get it real close, this is the fine tuning, think of graphical offsets as the fine tuning of uh, where those wheels and suspension parts have to be because not only the wheel but the suspension part has to move at the same amount or you're go or actually if you have say you have a, a, a brake caliper that isn't properly it, it isn't in the, exactly the right spot though the wheel is you can adjust that because it's not really it's a part of the wheel it's a sub part but it isn't the wheel if it was the wheel it would go round and round and round same as the wheel does I pulled that shit yesterday and found that out myself. So, um, think of graphical offsets as the various fine tony, tuning that you could do to the wheels of the vehicle. Now, this has to do with um, bringing them closer to the center of the car or pushing them outside the car. Now, literally, you could have them a block away, but it would really be screwy. But you don't want to do that. Anyways, that's the fine-tuning of the deal. Now, if you already know about that, that's no big news to you. But if you're new to a Assetto Corsa or to any of this kind of monkey business, this is going to be a help to you. Now, as far as the setup goes, I've got that in pretty good shape. And we do have... <clears throat> let me get down to the bottom. Forgive me, I get to scoot right along here nice. We get right down to the bottom, to the drive line. We've got differential preload. you got... Uh, front bias 64 percent set as a minimum which is where it should be to my knowledge the brake multi it's you can have as little brakes as 90 if you want to go back to the 60s or you can have 200 and and uh chip your teeth on the steering wheel now the newer content manager and such needs steer assist from what i've been told to be a minimum of 100 for the cars to work properly. Now that could be a crack of shit. But that's what I was told. Anyway, the differential power, um, 10 to 90. I don't see why you would want 100. I guess we could do that just to, to say we could do it. But I guess that would be totally both wheel uh, drive uh, posit traction without any limited slip whatsoever. That's what I would assume. Now the differential coast, minimum of 10, maximum of 90. Actually, it should be set at 45. That, that if you have a, a heavy-duty uh, clutch springs, will alleviate that jumpiness and nastiness of the car by adjusting this up to 45. I'm going to give it a, at least 40 just to get you started. In other words, if it was less than 40 and you put took your foot off the, the accelerator and that car had uh, a lot of torque, on the engine as far as stopping power it could literally twist the car around and you've done it before whether you knew it or not why it happened uh by by cars that were adjusted to have a very fast acceleration deceleration on the rpms but this will allow that to be done i'll show you this will allow that to be done but it will not affect how the car uh behaves it'll still coast along nice like it's in freewheel not quite freewheel but similar Okay, we've got everything squared away there. Um, let's go over, make sure we're in Humble's Thunderbolt. Well, and I wanted to go to the engine. Now, we're going to scoot right along fast. As I told you, I'm too busy to really make a video today, but we're doing anyway to some degree. Oh, I don't know why things get scattered like they do. And sometimes when you try to fix it, it gets worse. But uh, there's obviously, you read what, what it says and you can pretty well get the hang of it the torque on the engine which is what i was talking about is right here and it's 327 um i think i think i'm going to go ahead and bring it to 427 just because that's a, a cool number and uh it will be very fast on the on the rpms going up and coming down but we just adjusted that other piece of the puzzle so i think it'll be all right now 
I've tried sorting these out, making them all nice again, and the engine didn't run. So I don't know if I made a mistake, which I hope so, or if it was a complete foobar. Wow, we have got turbos up the yin yang. We've literally got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six turbos on this rascal, and this one goes to 10 grand. 85, 8, 5, 3, and 2. Hoo hoo! No wonder it goes good. All right, well, sometimes you need to push the cart with a couple more horses. That'll get us through for now, guys. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to share with you at the moment. Um, so this rascal's under, under, uh, I'm, I'm getting her squared away. Hey, will you check that teleprompter? Uh, okay, we got it. Bye-bye now.